of this. You're a Stones guy, though? Huge. So, okay, so it meant a lot to you. Like, all that shit where you, like, just the idea of reading about Keith Richards, and you're like, holy fuck, he's not just some dumb, junky guy. Like, like he's, Mick Taylor quit? Like, you don't quit the What an Stones. idiot. Yeah, you're yeah. leaving a body bag. We're pirates. Yeah. <laughs> you keep going. Bill pulled out, though. I won't go see him without Bill. I mean, Bill just sort of like, I'm done. I'm old. I won't go see him because they're 70. Really? I just, uh, I think the last time I saw him, I saw him once, 1981, Tattoo U Tour, Madison Square Garden, Four Seats. That's a good one. Steel Wheels was a really good tour. You saw it? I did see it at Shea Stadium, and I was so far in the back. What year was that? Were you like, a, oh, really? You weren't a, a guy yet? You didn't, you weren't like, no, uh, like Jay Moran with the band? No, I was like 18. I was just out of high school, and it was um, it was Steel Wheels, and it was their big comebacks. Pretty good album, Steel Wheels. Not as right. good as, but Voodoo Lounge is really the one that no one ever talks about that I think is super underrated Stones album. I yeah, really, I, I don't know if I bought it even. Love strong. You're so sweet. Come on, the last great Stones album. Maybe um, some girls for a whole record. Emotional Rescue had a couple of good songs on it, but there's a couple of real clunkers in Emotional Rescue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to Voodoo Lounge. You love it. And yeah. The real fun thing is when you listen to on YouTube, you can find Keith doing because he writes a lot of it. Yeah, if not, you know, all except wild horses. Apparently, that's a weird thing about reading that book. It's like you kind of wonder, like, how much of this is just a stick. Uh, you, you know, like there's some heavy shit in there. Like, I mean, arguably, he killed a kid. Arguably, yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he, he, it's not like he's the greatest guy. Anyways, go ahead. No, I, I just uh, you can see on YouTube, Keith. You can hear on YouTube, Keith recording himself doing Love is Strong but he yeah. only knew Love is Strong and he knew the bridge so it's like Love is Strong it's so sweet <laughs> Love is Strong and Love is Strong baby that's it it's great it's just a single vocal track uh, with with all the instruments like he because oh, Keith okay. as we know from Happy Keith can sit down and do, do bass drums and just go you know yeah, what yeah, yeah. I'm just feeling happy right now do the whole thing in Montserrat I just yeah. feel like recording where because Charlie Watts was staying like four hours away Bill Wyman was on a boat and they all just it took so long I, to get like everybody. I feel like like now that you're talking about like the exile shit like I feel like just you saying that like I actually have from reading that book I feel like I have memories of being there. I do too. <laughs> it's weird. You were just describing, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that with the boat. They had the boat, and, and I, I got m such a more uh, better understanding of like Mick Taylor. Like he must have been the biggest passive, the best musician they ever had. Great guitar player. Like Sticky Finger. All yeah, their great. albums yeah. with him on it are just absurd. Like yeah. Fingerprint File. Yep. Get the fuck out of here. Those it, was it three or four records. Uh, I guess Sticky Fingers and it's uh, only rock and roll. Beggars Banquet. No, the one after was he Let It Bleed. Was he Let It Bleed? No. Yeah, it was. I think it was Beggar's Banquet. I don't know where he came in, but Sticky Fingers definitely. And it's only rock and roll, which I fucking love that record. I love. It. I listen. I to, love. It's only rock and roll. I listen to that Stones record more than oh, most and, of um, them. Oh, and Goat Yeah, Goat Head Soup. Did yeah. he do I Winter? Think so. Angie with Angie and uh, yeah. Heartbreaker and but uh, Winter is the on Starfucker. To yeah, I like. They were so good business. Such good businessmen. I love that they just recruited guys to replace Mick Taylor and every guy they had in was secretly laying a track for Between the Buttons. Yeah. Was it Between the Buttons or Black and Blue? Uh, black and Blue. And they're like, hey, Ronnie Wood, you got the gig. Yeah, yeah, And they're yeah. like, this isn't my work. And he goes, yeah. oh, no, we record every guy that came in was just laying tracks for You're us. on the record. The record's coming out next week. Yeah. Oh, and wow. I, and when you look at Ronnie Wood, you're like, who else could have done it? Yeah, who really? Who else could have done that gig? Some, I, You know who? It was Jeff Beck. Yeah. It was a guy from the Blues Explosion. John Spencer Blues, for, uh, from, uh, really? Um, like John Spencer Blues Explosion? Or, I guess no. that's where McTaylor was from, right? No, that's a, he was a Mayall guy. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking of. It was, I know it was Jeff Beck was one of the guys. There was an American guy. Niels Lofgren, maybe? It wasn't, it was nobody I'd heard of. And it came down to, this guy's, it came down to. Where did you get this information? Uh, the wasn't in the book. Was Rolling it? Stone article about the when they reissued Exile right. remaster oh, and okay. stuff. There's yeah, a yeah, huge yeah. book with it. And then um, I got a great Jim Marshall photo of Keith and Mick at the mic stand uh, at Montserrat, and you just and Mick is just in mid scream. I think I've seen that picture. They're just shoulder to it's shoulder. A public picture, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then uh, and Keith, Mick looks all dopey. 
he's just screaming. He's like, rocks off, man. And then uh, Keith's got a cigarette in his hand and he's wearing a Rolling Stones t-shirt, which I'm like, that was the beginning of the coolest shit that ever happened. How do you feel about bands wearing their own shirts on stage? You know, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if I have an opinion on it. Let me like. Let me really process it. I'd rather. I'd, I'd you rather want me not. Come, you want me to come? You want to take yeah, a break? You want to take or? a break? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice and early, Jay. Lock the gate. <laughs>